Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 23 big money bolos coming your way. Items that I bought low and sold high. And I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So if you wanna see items that I bought and sold that sold for $35 or less, you can check out my other bid, other videos, and those would be under the bread and butter videos, okay? This one is a big money. So you're going to see some of my higher dollar sales on this video. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first item I sold is this ultimate baseball game. And this was sealed in the package. It did take some time to sell. I will tell you guys that um, I don't think there were any comparables for it. So I just priced it high. And I was willing to wait for the right buyer. And sometimes you have to do that. Um, I sold it for a best offer of $80. The buyer was all in for $96.04. And I picked that up at a thrift store for $4. So anytime things are sealed, I pick them up. Almost always. The next item I sold, especially if they're vintage, um, is this Viewmaster uh, real lot. So these go inside of a Viewmaster. They're kids. Uh, Disney. Most of these are Disney. And they're like, like a little slideshow. Ooh, I sold something. Ooh, I sold a witch on Mercari. I like the cha-ching on Mercari. Okay. Um, refocus here. So yeah, these I ended up selling for $48.75. The buyer was all in for $61.11. And these came out of a vintage toy box that I purchased from Auctions For You. Again, if you'd like to check out her YouTube channel, she does um, sell mystery boxes from time to time, just on occasion. And um, But she does YouTube auctions also. Mine was a mystery box and I unboxed it on my channel and it was amazing. If you guys want to check that out, you can uh, find it on my channel. The next item I sold is this lot of different perfumes. I don't know why I put these together, but I did. And I sold all 12 of them to one buyer. They sold for $39.60 on best offer. The buyer was all in for $50.95. The next item that I sold is this Sonic the Hedgehog Knuckles figure. This was also in that box from T Auctions for You, my vintage toy box. He is a bolo. Um, and he's even, you know, he's not perfect. He's been played with. Um, you can see he's got some little scuffs and paint wear on him. But he still sold for $56.10. With tax and shipping, the buyer was all in for $66.98 for this guy. So definitely be on the lookout for him. Um, I'm just going to see if I could find you guys right here. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, that's what it says. 1993. So very cool bolo. Or, or I'm sorry, 1999. Very, very cool Bolo. I was excited to find that one in the box. You guys should go watch that video. You, I just pulled Bolo after Bolo out of that box. It was so cool. And it was definitely a teaching box because um, a lot of the items I didn't know about. Um, and I definitely had to uh, learn as I went. I did Google Lens a lot to try to find the items. But um, I think it'll help you guys learn also. So definitely check it out. All right, so this is a scream mask, and you know what? I just remembered this sale, the buyer didn't pay, but that's okay because I'm going to tell you what happened. Um, this sold auction style for $99.99. You guys, the scream mask, there are different ones. Some are worth like $500. Um, this one is not worth $500, but it's still a very good one. This one's Easter Unlimited. Um, the buyer didn't pay. So I went ahead and put this on Mercari and I ended up selling it for 150 over on Mercari. So I'm really glad the buyer didn't pay. What I was hoping for with this was to get a bidding war because these scream masks are definitely a bolo and I knew that, but I didn't get a bidding war. 
So it's one of those times where you're just like, I'm okay with the buyer not paying because I knew I could list it on Mercari and sell it quickly for more money. And that's what I ended up doing. Um, the next item that sold is this vintage woodland bear. Okay, so this item I picked up at a garage sale for like five bucks. This is what the little tag looks like. I just had a good feeling about it, but I listed this guy really, really high in the beginning. I think I had like a hundred bucks on it and I've gradually been reducing the price. And somebody offered me 40 bucks and I took it and it sold for, um, with tax and shipping 57 90 is what the buyer was all in for. I don't know. I just thought it was cute. I thought it was different and it said that it was made in England. So I don't know. I just thought it was going to be a big money bolo. I, I still did well at $40, but I was hoping for more. I, if I'm being completely honest, I thought it was going to be a little higher than that. All right. The next item I sold is this ghost party um game and i actually found a bunch of miscellaneous cards uh trading cards in here i'm trying to think which cards they were i'm drawing a blank oh my goodness i think i posted something on instagram about it but i cannot think of what they are so, oh they were trolls troll doll trading cards so I went ahead and listed those separately. If I remember correctly, I paid like a buck or two for this game, but it sold super, super fast for $45 best offer. And the buyer was all in for $63.76. I saw this game and I was like, I just had a good feeling about it. And at that price, I was taking it home with me. The next item I sold are these Flintstones. These came from an estate sale and I sold these for $47 uh, best offer and the buyer was all in for $57.39 and these sold fast. So another fast sale. I like those fast sales. The next item that sold is this Mattel Disney Dino Alive Aladar hatching egg toy. It sold for a best offer of $55. The buyer was all in for $82.41. This also came out of a mystery box. If you want to see how this guy works, you can go over to my reseller testing products YouTube channel. I do have a video of how he works. He's super cool. He's super cute. And he is definitely a bolo. The next item I sold is this puppy plush. Puppy, 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 puppies. Uh, right there. Actually, it's Puppy Puppy Puppies. It's from 1993. This guy is a bolo. They also make kittens. The kittens actually do better than the dogs. So I think it's called Kitty Kitty Kittens. Uh, definitely be on the lookout for these. I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents. It sold for 40. Buyer was all in for 45.65. Um, I do cross post all of my items from eBay to Mercari and Poshmark. I use a uh, cross posting service called List Perfectly. If you guys are interested in how that works, you can check out um, the video down in the description. And you can also get 30% off your first month with referral coupon code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word. But um, it saves me so much time. It's awesome. It's amazing. I've been using it since about 2000, I think it was September of 2019 is when I joined. And I still love it as much as I did when I first started. Uh, but what I was going to tell you where I was going with this, I'm only showing you guys eBay sales in this video. If you guys want to know what I'm selling on Mercari and Poshmark, I do have separate videos for those platforms. So definitely check those out. And those items are relevant for eBay also because I do have the items cross posted to eBay. They just sold faster on the other platform. And I recently just started um, Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to give it a try. I started back when they first started, and then I kind of just didn't go too far with it. And then recently, I just did a video how to cross post from eBay to um, Facebook using List Perfectly. And I did like 10 items, and I've already sold two things from the video. And I'm like, okay, maybe I need to cross post more items to Facebook. So um, definitely check out that video and I'll keep you guys posted on the Facebook sales. 
All right, the next item I sold is this male bear. He's a male bear, bear, like a male carrier. He's got on his little male outfit and he's super cute from 1990. And he sold for best offer of $40 and all in for $49.03. Uh, I did get a message from the buyer. They were complaining about the nose. Apparently the nose was a little bit scuffed up. So I just told them to go ahead and return the item to me if they so wished. Um, I mean, it's from 1990. So even though it's new with the tags, it's probably been stored somewhere, you know, and it's in its original condition, but it's still new old stock. So um, I had a picture of the nose. I actually kind of had a close up of the nose right there. So um, I just asked them to return it. If they wanted a full refund, they could return it and they never returned the item. So I'm guessing that they decided that they were okay with, with the nose. I don't know. But anyway, um, I, I usually opt to just have them return the item. So, uh, $2 thrift store for that guy. The next item I sold are these jockey underwear, vintage underwear are a bolo. If you can find them new old stock in the packaging, definitely pick them up if you can get them for the right price. This has an $8 sticker on it. Um, you're going to see I got more than $8 for them. Uh, so definitely don't go by the sticker on the item because that is what it sold for then, not what it will sell for now. Uh, these came from a garage sale. I paid a quarter per pack and I sold these for auction $59.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this uh, Cruella DeVille uh, Barbie, I guess. She's like a Barbie doll. And she sold for $55.49, buyer paid shipping. I got this at a garage sale for $4. The next item is a bunch of animals. And I got these at different places, garage sales, thrift stores, who knows, mystery boxes. And I just made a huge lot of animals. I thought, you know, somebody's probably looking for something like this for their kid to play with. It'll be fun. And it sold for a best offer of $48 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Charming Tales little figurine. Um, it is Fitz and Floyd, but it's the Charming Tales. And they're these little mice. And this salsa one was it's rare. It's hard to find. Um, there weren't a whole lot made and oh, it says 89 out of 296. So I went ahead and priced this one higher and it sold for a best offer of nope. Yeah. $50. And the buyer was all in for $61 and 76 cents. And I'm seeing here, it says best offer accepted. And then it has the sold price. Hmm. All right, the next item I sold is this Leapfrog um, Flash Magic Decoder Flashcards. And if I remember correctly, I couldn't find the exact item. It is a harder to find item, so I went ahead and priced it a little bit high. It sold for $37, buyer paid shipping, all in for $48.72. I got that at a garage sale for $5. The next item I sold is this Zoomer Kitty Black Cat. Um, I sold it without the charger and I just disclosed that this is a bolo item, you guys. And if you scroll down, you can see I have a video of how it works. Um, if you're interested in seeing how to add a video to your um, eBay description, I do have a video on how to do that. And I actually just found another one of these Zoomer kitties at a thrift store. So I need to charge it and see if it's going to work. And, um, definitely an item to be on the lookout for, especially if it has the ball, the little interactive toy that goes with it, that's definitely going to help your cost uh, or your price selling price to be more, uh, that, uh, garage sale, $1 sold it for 49 plus tax and shipping all in for 64 55. The next item I sold are these DC comics figures. These came out of a mystery box. Um, and they sold for $44 and 40 cents. The buyer was all in for $50 and 65 cents. The next item I sold is this vintage Mark Safari Sergeant 
Kojo, Kujo, I'm not sure how to say that, but he's a toy figure. I got him at a garage sale for $2 and he sold for $38 best offer all in for $46.96. And he is a harder to find toy. So I was super happy to find that guy. The next item I sold are these vintage Barbies. Um, it's vintage to now. It's a mixed lot. Uh, I think most of these came from a thrift store, but some of them could have been garage sales. Uh, I ended up selling them for $73.99. The buyer paid shipping. This did go internationally. However, during transit, something happened and somehow a foot got completely broken off of one of the Barbies and I think a head, which is really, really random and weird to me, but it happened. So um, it was an international sale. So the buyer opened a claim and you know what? That Barbie doesn't have a head. wonder if that's the one she sent me a picture of. Did I have a head just sitting here somewhere? I can't remember. Maybe not. Maybe it was a different head. But anyhow, um, now I'm curious. Okay. I don't see any heads. Maybe the one just didn't have a head. So, um, it ended up being covered because I use global shipping program. So um, they cover anything that happens during transit. So I don't know if, it, I don't know why, I don't know what happened. I don't know how it would happen. I mean, they're plastic. Uh, the next item that sold are these smart bean trucks, which this one really, really surprised me. Um, so when you tap them, they light up and they make sound. So they are lights and sound and I couldn't find many comparables. So I just priced them high and they sold for full asking price of $40 and 70 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item that sold was really cool. It's the Taylor Swift reputation stadium tour VIP box. Now it did not have the CD, um, but it had everything else. And this, I believe, went internationally also. But you plug this thing in and it has like a little TV in it. It's really, really interesting. And then there was a book in the bottom. So this came from a garage sale. I only paid a couple bucks for it. Uh, I don't know why. I just kind of had a hunch about it. And it ended up paying off because it was definitely a bolo. It sold for $93.75. And the buyer was all in for $105.15. So even though it was missing the CD, it still had all of the other fun things, the ticket, the patch, the book, whatever this stuff is, um, the charger. So uh, definitely a bolo. And the next item that sold are these Ray-Ban sunglasses. These were my husband's find. Not sure what he paid for them. I should do better about um, asking him that if I'm going to include it in the video, but he probably got it at a flea market. That's where he typically picks up his Ray-Bans. And these sold for $100. The buyer was all in for $119.87. All right, you guys, those are my 23 big money Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can buy low and sell high. Thanks for watching.